This is horrible. That wasn't the person that I knew. When they surfaced, my heart sank. So I was just like, that is not the person that I met. It just sounds, it sounds like a child, mm. like a, a silly child, like. This is what happens in, when you, your kids are not, you do become a product of your environment. Mm. So whatever you are around every day and you're not educated on it or exposed to why it's wrong or whatever, then it kind of sticks. But still though, to have those yeah, no, views course, at that no, time. No, there's no excuse at all. When it all came out and stuff like, so obviously I was embarrassed, ashamed, disappointed. Same time I had to be a man about it. I've made that mistake and I've learned and I've educated myself and yeah. grew up to understand how offensive and how wrong it was what I did. I didn't even understand racism really when I was young. We all used to diss each other and whatever. There's never obviously any malice in it, but you, again, it's not obviously an excuse in it. And being from a Jamaican heritage, it's, it's, a, it's a tough one. I think it's a self, maybe, maybe a bit of self-hate, whatever. Well, at the time, for yourself? Nah, just I think it was a black thing. I think it happens now, still, in, in like in Jamaica. People don't want to be dark-skinned in Jamaica yeah. a lot of the time. There's a lot of bleaching and, and whatever going on. Yeah. And it's not cool to be, it's cool to be lighter. You pick up on these things as well, you know what I mean? Maybe it was easy for a light-skinned person like myself to joke about it. Because it's like, how would you feel if someone said that about, I don't know, like your cousin, your auntie, mm. or like, I don't know, we could have a child and it come out darker than us. Like, you just don't know, do you? Like, that sort of view on, on dark-skinned women especially, there is a lot of anger and there is a lot of a bit like, a, I'd say trauma. Mm. Because those views that you might have had back then, like, adds to the way that dark-skinned women are viewed. Mm. This whole thing about light-skinned girls being prettier or whatever. It's almost like people probably are being conditioned mm. to think that. Because you're seeing it everywhere. You're hearing it in music. You're seeing it in magazines. Don't you feel there's something in that? The more you see something, the more you hear something, that's just what you know and what you think. And dark-skinned people are just not represented enough. 